Good evening to you. I'm just sitting here waiting for my wife to come out of the shop and I'm thinking about all the strains and stresses that come upon our lives. No matter how they come, no matter who brings them, no matter what they are. Thought just crosses my mind that absolutely nothing should disturb our peace. No matter how it tries to attack, how the enemy tries to get on top of us, no matter what's thrown at us, we can maintain a peace. Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. And I think that um, if we can do that, no matter how much of a storm is going on around us, we can retain a peaceful heart. You may say that's impossible. How can it happen? So I've got my glasses back on again so I can see clearly three scriptures I want to share with you on this whole thing of holding our peace. Hebrews 13, 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. There can be no dissension, there can be no anger, there can be no distress if we're offering sacrifices of praise to God. But it's a sacrifice, because in our flesh, in our humanness, that's the last thing we want to do, isn't it? When we've been stirred up by something, when our flesh has been stirred up, doesn't matter how it's been caused. And the only thing that seems to rise up in us is to get out our point of view, make it known. But God is saying, a sacrifice of praise. Turn away from that. Turn away from the rising of the flesh and turn to praising God. Maintaining your peace. It's an exercise. It's a bit like bodybuilding. I used to be a bodybuilder and uh, continually using certain kinds of weights, you know, building up and building up and building up and strengthening your muscles. The Christian walk is exactly the same. We strengthen our spiritual muscles by using these, as it were, the machines that God has given us, the ability to use our tongues to be able to praise God and to, to speak of him to others. Psalm 107 just got to find it here. I haven't got markers in, so please bear with me. Psalm 107, verses 21 and 22. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. There again, sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving. It's almost as though you're kind of skipping over yourself to be able to sacrifice to God. One over the other, all the time. So strengthening yourself, sacrificing the sacrifices of thanksgiving. It almost doesn't make sense, but yet, in a way, it's, it's kind of like I will determine myself that I will continue to do this and without stopping, without ceasing. 1 Peter 2 verse 5. And it says, Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Spiritual sacrifices. All the time. It's not about what we want. It's not about what we desire. It's not about what we think and it's not about what we say. It's offering up to God what is pleasing to him. It's what he wants from our hearts and what he wants from our minds. So it's a challenge, an enormous challenge, isn't it? shedding ourselves of the flesh, opening ourselves up so that the, the Spirit can pour into our hearts. 
and the peace is undisturbed. No, I don't claim to have got there yet, believe me. I, I'm being challenged by this. This is why I believe the Lord's given it to me. Um, I'm very much a, a, a person of anxiety at times and worry and overthinking. So um, I'm going to let that be a challenge to me tonight first. And I leave it with you. Be blessed.